Today I want to talk about how to unlock your iPhone with Face ID while wearing a mask. More and more people are wearing masks because of everything going on and I do advise you to be safe. Make sure you do wear a mask. It's very important now more than ever. I myself lost someone on Sunday and uh, he was only 30 years old so you definitely want to make sure you protect yourself and it was to the current issue going on. So I'm going to show you something I found and I've read about. I've not tried it myself, but from what I see, some other sources have already picked up as well and are trying it and it works. So I'm going to go over it with you here and tell you how to unlock your iPhone face ID while wearing a mask. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin from HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new here and you like iPhone tips, tricks, tutorials, and all that extra jazz, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell. We'd love to have you. So I'm going to refer to this article. I'm going to do this a little different since I haven't tested this one myself because I've been just so busy. My main channel has been blowing up. So I've really been working on that a lot and I need to put some more time into this channel. But to start, let's go ahead and just drop this video here and we'll get another one for you soon. So here is the basic idea. I'm just going to kind of read over this the important parts. So they basically tried a few methods and said it did work after a few attempts. So first you want to go ahead and go into your iPhone under settings and then face ID and passcode. Once you do that, you could choose either reset face ID or alternative appearance option. You could start with either. I'm hearing alternative appearance option is best to start with. That way you have both. You have your usual way and you have a way with wearing the mask. So you want to fold your mask in half along the vertical plane and hold it up to cover against your face. Now you want to do this before you go in public, before you use the mask, because once the mask is out there, you don't want to really be touching the front because then you can go ahead and get germs and it kind of de defeats the purpose. So a tip here says adjust the folded mask so it covers only the tip of your nose and no further. For the first face ID setup scan, rotate your head according to the on-screen instructions. Wait for the green indicator to signal that you have completed the first scan. So here, if you look at the picture up here, that's what he's doing here. You just follow and tilt your head around and go that way. I've also heard from doing a little more research in here, sometimes it is a problem with your hand. So some people actually are taping it to their face to do this and get it in place that way the hand's not in the way and it'll work a lot quicker and take less tries. Position your mask to cover only half of your face and perform the second face ID setup scan. Repeat steps three and four. When the second scan is done, test face ID by wearing the mask normally to unlock the iPhone. If your iPhone still fails to recognize, try the alternative appearance, which I said you should try first anyway and repeat. So it, this person says it took six tries to work. I've heard people take seven, take three. The person that taped it said they got it to work fairly quickly. So that's something you're gonna wanna try if that's something you can do. It also says here they've tried it with government issued cloth masks and disposable face masks. Both have worked. So there you go. That is how you will go ahead and get it to work. Like I said, few attempts make sure it's just the tip of your nose and a lot of people are saying why would you go through all this there are some people in healthcare that don't want to have to type in their code each time so that is a big reason to do this also if you, some people are also saying just turn off the lock well I mean for me I have business stuff on my phone if you have Apple pay on your phone it forces you to use a code or it disables it so I need it for that because I rather use Apple pay right now especially with everything going on. So I really do hope this helps. Like I said, I'll have some more videos out soon. I'm still working a full-time job with everything going on. So things have been pretty busy for me. I do want to thank the 1% of you that have subscribed. You do mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Seriously, I appreciate that. If you do like this video, do me a favor, smack that like button. And I'll put another video on how to deal with germs for everything going on right now. That way you can keep your phone clean as well. Thank you so much for the view.